if you're looking to record YouTube videos like tournament videos or even if it is you just playing creative doing 1v1s, you want a recording software that gives you the least amount of delay so that way you could play at your best all the time. Now, I know a lot of people don't have high-end PCs, meaning their PC can't really run a recording app like OBS or even Nvidia. You know, a lot of a lot of these use a lot of, you know, a lot of your PC in order to run at its best. So, I have an app here that you can actually install with the link in the description and you could try this for free now it has its own recording thing you could choose um what displays are even picked and all kinds of stuff whether it's full screen you can you know there's a lot to it there's different audio options um a whole bunch of different stuff and that's only like the start of it there's um a bunch of different recording options here of how like the fps you can record up to in the format these are the best settings i think for recording and i'll show you a few clips of me playing the game with this as well but for recording, these are the best. Now, most apps like NVIDIA and OBS or Streamlabs, anything that you can record on, can't even go up to 120 FPS, let alone 90. They can usually only get to about 60. And recordings in 120 to 144 FPS, even 90, look a lot smoother than 60, and it just looks better overall. Therefore, this, you know, kind of beats those apps in that aspect. Um, these, some of the settings can be a little bit more confusing, but it's all right there compared to other apps. Like the format of recording right um the one of the main formats is mp4 or mkv now when you first launch um this you will be an mp4 i recommend mkv just for some reason i feel like it gives off better quality i don't know that's just just a me thing maybe but you know i just like it so these are what i think the best um options are here and then audio options down here right so there's a bunch of different things even hotkeys you can change from start recording to stop recording so you don't have to open this every time and all kinds of stuff like that now there's even in-game overlays that you can mess with um you can have different startup options and a bunch of different things and even choose where the recordings go to after uh, it's done being recorded which is a lot of options that a lot of other things don't have like obs and stuff like that so this is very very useful and i do find it a little more easier to use when it comes to recording um then obs and stream and you know anything else you can use like Streamlabs and nvidia but your opinion is always your opinion which is why i'm just recommending you to try this out because you know you could try it for free with the link in the description uh it doesn't hurt to try it is basically what i'm getting at and i um i tried this myself it, i actually took a picture of my face don't mind that this will um, come to a shock to a lot of you guys i'm actually not little yachty a lot of you guys think i am but you know me i'm actually not a little yachty but here's me actually free building using this now in this recording you won't be able to see that i am actually recording on 120 fps but Wait, let, let me know Rob. this is 120 fps me actually better. playing the game look at that aim i'm gonna turn this down just a little bit but yeah this is me just free building uh, while using it and i will see it has absolutely zero delay with the settings that i use now me, as you can see the quality obviously looks good um, it looks like a normal recording and Lucky him. not only that, it felt great. Now recording on OBS, I will say, I've said this in every single video, not just this one, recording on OBS gives a lot of delay and it, sh it absolutely craps on your FPS as well. I run usually around 900 FPS and then I go to recording on OBS and it cuts my FPS down to about 600, which is absolutely insane. That's a minus 200 FPS difference. But with this, it does not. So I will quickly show you that with a recording of me actually playing the game. I am in the process of actually editing this. And I didn't realize even while, like, I don't talk about this. This is why I'm talking about it now. But while recording, I didn't realize that actually even the audio of my mic sounds a lot more clear. Now, I do want to say I am using the highest, like, mic settings you can on the app. Uh, that you can get so like the best settings you can get so if you want your mic to sound a lot more clear in recordings and a lot louder or whatever um i do cover the settings but i don't actually mention that it makes it sound better because i wasn't 100 percent sure until now um while recording so that's just cool i just want to throw that in there real quick you can see on the top right it is hitting around five to seven hundred to 560 fps which is fairly good but you know one of the best things about it is actually you could record in 120 fps like i'm doing right now now me recording in 120 fps means well that's a lot more than 60 right therefore it should hurt my fps a lot more but it does the exact same as obs would recording in 60 fps therefore recording in 120 fps on the app is actually the exact same as if i was to record in 60 fps over on obs which is what i would normally use and the delay feels the exact same 
So therefore I would choose the app for recording YouTube videos and everything like that if you want better FPS. But delay obviously feels good, but that's not something you can really see. That's something you'd have to test for yourself because actually everything does still, you know, happen just as quick as it would if I wasn't recording, right? So with the recording you guys actually just watched, I basically talked about how recording on OBS, I actually only record with 60 FPS and it hits my my FPS down pretty, pretty far, just as bad as it would. Just as bad as it would if I was streaming on 120 using the app, which that is a whole plus 60 FPS difference with the exact same outcome. So therefore, the app is a little bit, a little less harsh on your FPS than OBS would be. Um, not only that, there's a lot more options to play with. And when you're done editing something or recording something, sorry, you can actually edit it in the app as well. Now, you can't do that in OBS. You actually do need a editing app or you can edit it in your files, but it's not as good as, you know, how this might be. You can actually edit this before it even goes into your files and it just makes things a lot easier. They even have an advanced editor that you can install and it's, you know, you can actually edit full YouTube videos on there, which is always nice as well. So that is always a big feature to have in a recording app because, you know, there's not many recording apps that can actually allow you to do that. Therefore, this one obviously, you know, is good for that. Not only that, when you go to options here, there's a bunch of different options with your microphone that you can do. You can do tests and all kinds of stuff like that, which most recording apps do have, right? But, you know, that's always cool just to show you guys that that is a thing. Same thing as desktop audio, stuff like that. You can always do that. And then there's webcam settings you can change, um, which my camera is not on right now. But you can even add green screens and remove backgrounds. Now, there is not a lot of recording apps at all that allows you to do this. So if you have a background that you don't like people seeing, but you want to have your face in some cameras, this is always great for it with the remove background option, which is an AI thing. You can also add green screens and all kinds of stuff like that. So that's always fun to do. So that's enough yapping about this recording app. If you'd like to try this out, the link is in the description. Let me know in the comment section how you guys feel about this. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you'd like to know how to optimize your PC to run at its absolute best, click this video right here at the top of the screen. And I'll catch you guys later.